So, good morning together. Uh, I hope you uh, grabbed some coffee during the break. We had, uh, as you have recognized, a very, very interesting uh, introduction of the European activities by Carl Christian Boer, which ended up in a very intense um, question and answer discussion. And uh, one of the subjects he mentioned in the announced um, uh, strategy of the European Commission was to go for um, European standards and in his presentation you also s saw that he rec referred to the ETSI which is the European Telecommunication Standardization Institute, is that correct? And I'm very proud to have a representative of ETSI here in person, Margot Dorr from Nice, Sofia Antipolis, sorry, and she will introduce what um, the Etsy is currently doing in the field of cloud in terms of standardization and what is going to, to be addressed um, based on the European strategy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning. I was hoping by um, trying to get EuroCloud on board this initiative I would make more women intervene in the environment as women, but I, <laughs> no, I'm not convinced this is going to happen. A very good morning to you all. Um, I will very much build on what's been said last night by um, uh, Ken Ducatel and this morning by Carl Christian Boer because indeed Etsy has been sort of tasked with something specific in this uh, uh, cloud strategy by the European uh, Commission. Um, it's this one, right? I pressed three times already. Anyway, I wanted to start with a, a, a few, actually two slides on what Etsy is, because I, I suspect not all of you may be very familiar with it. We are a standard organization. Thank you so much. Did you press it? Uh -uh. Voila. Um, originally very well known for all the mobile communication standards that we have uh, released and we started with GSM, now we are with LTE in the third generation Ponchi project, but we're also very active in a number of other areas, uh, broadcast, transport, etc. Be them um, uh, pure uh, telecom and IT or what we call ICT inside, which means enablers to other areas, which is power supply, transport, uh, payments, etc., etc. Uh, the membership is global, which means we have uh, roughly 750 or 60 members uh, coming from 62 countries. So we are called European because, and we are rooted in Europe definitely, uh, but obviously the, the, the membership and the footprint of the deliverables uh, goes way beyond, which means our sort of, um, um, it's more than a slogan, it's a belief. Um, it's that it's made in Europe for global use, uh, the standards we are producing. Uh, very typically in partnership, which is why the, what is asked from us, what is asked to us from the Commission is not really alien to us because we're very used in working with others in a very open and transparent manner, the number of partners. The best known, of course, are the third generation partnership project, which we founded and we host the Secretariat of in Sofia. And some of you might have seen in the press recently the launch of a global one M two M partnership project with other standard organizations from from around the world. Uh, the jewel in the crown, if I may say, is the Center for Testing and Interoperability, which uh, which we sort of carved out of an Etsy activity um, already existing about three years ago, and which is getting increasingly important in a world where standardization is increasingly fragmented. Um, increasingly heterogeneous and also has to encompass different business sectors which used to operate separately, transport and IT, and banks and IT, etc., etc. So the, the Center for Testing and Interoperability, I won't elaborate on this now, but it's really something which is going to be very instrumental also in this uh, cloud uh, thing. Just a... Ah, c'est l'autre. Quick focus on the members uh, so that you know who I'm talking about. So 750 of them, we're a not-for-profit association. So we have um, manufacturers, so the, 
left hand side pie chart is the members all together, the right hand side is the ones who come from outside Europe. Um, but you see, you see the, the business they are in, so manufacturers, operators and providers, um, administrations, which is, which is also why it's very important. I think the Commission, when they asked uh, this to us, were interested, and I, I, I was hoping Carl Christian or somebody from the Commission could confirm what I'm saying so that you see I'm not just into hard selling here. What they bought from us is what's happening in the technical committees and in the Center for Testing and Interoperability, etc., but they also bought from us a specific membership mix, which means that a number of players that need to be involved in this cloud standards coordination um, are already on board, and namely the administrations, the private sector, <coughs> the small companies, the large corporations, US, Asia, Europe, etc. They also bought processes and, and our capacity to sort of um, uh, put together people to arrive to a certain result. Um, so this is, um, but I think the slides will be online if you want more. So indeed, let's not get back to this too much in detail, but just in the jungle of standards, key action number one, they task Etsy to coordinate with stakeholders. The dotted between parentheses said in an open and transparent manner. Uh, to identify by 2013 a detailed map of the necessary standards in Aurelia for security, interoperability, data portability, and reversibility. So first of all, I would like to insist that this is not about production. It's about coordination. So I was already, um, um, some people yesterday at the, at the dinner came and said, but we don't need other standards, they're already too much, etc., etc." Indeed, it's not about producing standards, it's about coordinating standards and specifications that come from SDOs, Standard Development Organization, that come from fora, that come from consortia, that come from companies, including proprietary standards, etc in support of a number of policy objectives as set in the communication released on 27 September. And I'd like this to be very clear because we at C and the Commission have already been under um, a tremendous pressure from other organizations saying why we don't need European standards for the cloud. Indeed, we all know that industry wants global standards. The trick, and it was exactly what Monsieur Tavernier said in the previous uh, uh, speech is that the standards will have to be global, but it happens that the requirements, in particular when it comes to data security and privacy and all these things, are, have a regional, sometimes <coughs> national flavors. And you have to adapt this to that. But indeed, we're not into producing yet another set of standards. By the way, this is not specific to the cloud um, paradigm. So how are we going to do that? Uh, I said I would be very quick to the organizers because they have they were late on the agenda. So I'm going to be quick and then we can we can discuss. We're going to launch a cloud standard coordination. Um, originally it was called platform and then we realized it was a little bit confusing with the ECP, the European Cloud Partnership. So we removed platform. So now it's called cloud standards coordination. Uh, <coughs> in Cannes, in France, four and five December. There is an agenda, uh, draft agenda behind, so you see a little bit more. Again, it'll, it'll be about coordination and it'll be about uh, participation, which means people will, there will be a number of areas uh, as per the communication that will be identified. And the trick is to gather all the ingredients we need in order to cook the roadmaps of standards to respond to a number of use cases in these different areas. It will be open and participative, so I'd like to say that the output, I will say this in the end, but I would like to start saying now that the output will be as good as the input that you guys can, can, can bring. Uh, indeed, the, the technical committees that exist in Etsy, so we have one which is cloud, we have one which is lawful intercept. Where is the lawyer who is here? <laughs> Lawful intercept, environmental engineering, electronic signature, I forgot what the I stands for, uh, and the Center for Testing and Interoperability are going to be the technical kernel because we need to anchor the work of this platform in a particular technical kernel to have deliverables and so forth and so on, but it'll, they, they, are not, they are not the alpha and omega of everything. And we do the, we pr the, the, the trick and the objective is to produce this standards roadmap in support of those policy objectives. And 
Mind you, ladies and gentlemen, we have very little time to do that because we're supposed to produce this for the end of 2013, which means that we better get our act together and get it fast because it's going to be sort of tricky. Um, the rough sketch of what's going to happen on 4 and 5 December, um, what I'd like, I, I removed all the other names. <laughs> but the one of EuroCloud, because all the others we are still um, negotiating. We have a number of solic solicitations to be here and there and everywhere. Uh, there will be breakout sessions, which will not be like you bring your own PowerPoint and you explain how your standard organization or forum is better than the next one, but it will be brainstorm sessions co-animated by one Etsy board member, i.e. industry or administration, and one forum, consortium, uh, user association, trade association, etc., in order to precisely arrive to get all these ingredients, in order to start cooking the roadmaps in the end. Uh, everything will, so, so far, the four objectives set in the, in, the, in the communication from the Commission have become five different breakouts, but this is, again, being, please bear with us that the communication was released 27 uh, September, so we, we're, this is an evolving thing. So far, there are five sessions. It might be likely that reversibility and data portability become one, because it does, mean, it does make sense to have these separated from a policy perspective. From a standard perspective, it's a little bit trickier, etc. But this, we're currently discussing it with the board of Etsy. Uh, and then after these breakouts, etc., there will be a plenary se session where, where then we'll, we will um, um, ensure that the, the, the findings of these different sessions start being cooked. Um, we do count on EuroCloud for this one, and I'm looking at the EuroCloud friends here. Um, it's a tricky one, it's a difficult one. There'll be people um, that will there'll be a number of interesting dynamics in this meeting. <laughs> but we do count on you and your support and the membership of EuroCloud to, uh, to discuss in particular the requirements for SLAs and contractual, etc. Etsy doesn't go... Etsy goes to certification with the production of the Center for Testing and Interoperability, which I mentioned to you earlier, in that we produce um, um, validation test suites and, and the deliverables of CTI are used for certification. For example, when we work with the WAMAX forum, they produced a number of uh, um, interoperability testing within the standard. The WAMAX forum then put a, thing, a stamp on their thing saying WAMAX inside. But Etsy doesn't go near this because we don't want to be judge and party, right? We cannot. We cannot afford to do that. Um, so, uh, but it'll be very important that you guys participate. That's what I would like to leave you with. The toughest part is not organizing that stuff, and believe me, it's already quite a headache, but the tough part starts 5 December at 5 p.m. Because either we got the ingredients right, or we got sufficient ingredients to make it happen, and there will be different working groups, etc., etc. And the output will depend on the quality of the input, as we say, garbage in, garbage out. So if we have, we need you guys to, to make sure that we get the right thing, otherwise, it'll be absolutely um, um, not interesting. Um, there is one last thing I wanted to say, but I forgot. <laughs> so, so, uh, so I'm going to leave you uh, maybe with this, um, maybe with this, to uh, make sure that you um, you guys understand that we count on you. And uh, for this, with I thank you very much.